click on annotate. Okay. We are going to do a screencast of how to format a photo. First thing we need to do is open photo. Okay, you can move that wherever you want. You can make it bigger. And Photoshop. You can change the colors. So you can do a whole lot of stuff. That is so easy to do. So now if the kids create a video and they want to explain something to you, they could actually put a pop-up, a note, right there. Here it comes. This is how I'm explaining uh, what the video is going to tell us. How do they get to that? Like if we wanted to go where the video yeah. editing and all of that upload. Yeah. If you're on the video manager, yeah. okay, choose the video that you want. 200. And then simply go to annotations. Choose the video you want and then go to annotation. You're locked in. So upload video and then start touch screen. There you go. Yeah, good uh, comment was just made. Move note ties right into your Google Docs so we can then share it out with everybody. So I think that's brilliant. I really like the move note. It's limited in some of the things you can do. What is that one? Move note? Yeah. Or, is that one of the ones you had on That was one that we had on there too. Now one thing with the annotations that you can do, um, it's similar to move note. When you add an annotation, I showed this in the last session. Um, I'm just going to use this note. You can actually click a link and click a link to a new video. You can only do YouTube videos on here. But this is where you choose your own adventure. I got this. I need to know more about this. And I can click on that and the students can go to a different spot. Move note, you can actually click it and put it, embed a form or some sort of assessment at the end of it. And that's really nice to do. You can't embed a document or form in YouTube, but you can do it. Uh, you can embed a video link. And you can do a whole bunch of move notes limited in that aspect. But YouTube is not. Um, let me see here. I think 